Hey everyone, this is Ian Martin from Dedrick Creations, and I just wanted to show you all the exciting progress my extremely talented developer, Adrian Trio, has made on our Augmented Reality app. Um, this is still very much in the prototyping stage, but I wanted to show you what we have so far. Um, I'm sure you've noticed that the monsters are not being generated using those AR chips um, that I showed in my previous video where I showcased the table, um, but instead they're actually being generated using the pattern on the table itself as a marker. Um, and what you're seeing here has, is actually just being recorded on an LG cell phone running our application. So all eight monsters have now been scanned. Um, some of them are still pretty rough, um, but we've already cleaned up a few. Um, let's see here. And even started to animate a couple of them. And you'll see that the pattern uh, marker on the table works very well um, and even allows me to get rather close to each of the monsters. So the application actually already works as a game on touch devices. Um, I'll show you what I mean here by tapping on my Chlor Slug and moving him to the center of the table. You see the application shows me what cell I can move to, um, and it is actually able to detect in real time all of the spaces on the table. So I'm going to move my slug one more space. Um, and then as the opponent player, I'll uh, select another monster and tap on the monster I want to attack. You'll see they acted out their fight, um, and in this instance the Chlor Slug won that fight. So the models you see here were actually created using photo scans of my physical monster sculpts, and then cleaned up and animated by artist Palo Arena. Um, I like this method because it gives the monsters kind of a, a stop motion look in the end. Another great discovery we made after getting the app to work on my table playing surface was that the table marker also worked quite well on many smaller readily available Dedrick tables, um, such as this here, uh, one six scale sideshow collectibles table. And as one might expect, um, you can play the game just the same way. And I even found that it works on this little toy here, um, with Chewbacca sitting there. Um, even though the pattern is very obstructed by these plastic hollow monsters. And then it works down to the smallest uh, Lego table, um, which is very surprising. Um, and the game actually works here. I can move the monsters around. It's much more difficult on this little tiny table, but you can see it's possible to and if you don't have a table you can actually just print out the pattern here's a I just printed this out on some paper and you'll see it works quite well on that as well the app is already running smoothly on Google Cardboard and we're hoping to make it compatible with other AR goggles and glasses as well it also runs on many other touch devices, including tablets. You can follow our progress at DedrickCreations.com.